A lot of changes with our weather, too. Yeah. It was nice to see some rain. We got snow in the Sierra. Let's take a look at Jeff Renieri. <laughs> Uh, it's been so nice to just get a little bit of rain out there. I was out doing some gardening just before the rain hit. So some of those uh, new bare root plants I just put in are going to be able to get soaked in. Uh, and that's going to be good. Some free water for all of us to wash off some of that dust and ash from our wildfires we had about three to four months ago. Because believe it or not, some of it is still sitting on the leaves of, of those plants. Now, as we get you outside right now to our live Sky Camera Network, we want to show you Storm Ranger. It's our mobile Doppler radar. It's the only only one in the Bay Area, just one of six in the country with our NBC stations group. And the cool thing about this is we can move it. It is mobile again, and we get the scan closer to the ground so we can give you a more accurate view of what's happening outside. Now, I will show you the uh, Storm Ranger loop here in a second, but I did want to start off right now with a look at the rainfall totals and uh, pretty good here for this quick blast of wet weather. We had 38 hundredths of an inch so far in Napa, Santa Rosa, 35 hundredths, Oakland, 15 hundredths, and you can see as you move off towards the south, as expected, totals are less. San Mateo, 12 hundredths of an inch, and so far in San Jose, just a hundredth of an inch. So we'll bring you into the rain and the cold front is moving over right now and you're going to find the most instability where the cold front is located and out ahead of it. And that's where we're finding that rain. As you can see behind the cold front, things have started to calm down. So we'll zoom in, get you a closer look at Storm Ranger and you can see it's active when you have the red sweep. And we're following two main complexes here of some wet weather. We have some showers over San Francisco that'll continue off to the south, keeping it wet in San Mateo through six o'clock tonight and we're also watching some of this wet weather over Concord that will continue to push off towards Pleasanton and Livermore, certainly through 612 tonight. Let's bring you off to the south. Not much for San Jose. It's a rain shadow, but for the peninsula in Santa Cruz Mountains, we've had some wet weather. I'd bring us some shower chances into Los Gatos as we head through the next uh, 40 minutes or so. So overall tonight, we think we'll hold on to the spotty rain as we head through 7, 8 and 9 o'clock. Then as we head through 1130 tonight, that storm start to push out and by Saturday, we'll see some drier conditions build in with some sunshine. Sierra snow totals impressive across the higher elevations, eight inches at Kingvale, three for South Lake Tahoe. Tomorrow morning, we will have the chance here of some patchy areas of dense ground fog you want to watch out for and widespread 40. So jacket weather stays in place. Daytime highs as that sun comes out for the afternoon, 50s to low 60s. So all in all, I think we've got a great Saturday shaping up for us. On my extended forecast, more chances of rain in San Francisco Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. Temps in the 50s to 60s. Right here for the inland valleys, we'll also stay in the 60s next seven days. Best chance of rain next week will come on Tuesday. And some early estimates right now showing about a quarter to maybe a half inch of rain with this. So a nice steady on and off pattern of these rain chances. I have to tell you guys, um, breathe the sigh of relief outside today. It's not a big storm, but it's it's like uh, meditation for free from Mother Nature, right? When you hear that rain and you feel it, it's I couldn't good. agree more. Couldn't agree more. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs>